Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're gonna be visiting the very famous brawl scene that happened in the South Korean parliament, I would say around 15 years ago. Uh, the problem was that they were trying to pass laws and obviously a brawl happened. Now, I have to make this very clear. Do not resort to violence just because someone is disagreeing with you or just being unreasonable and who knows you you sometimes might be the one who is unreasonable so unless your life depends on it or the life of someone of your family your child etc do not use this because you can never undo uh, you know things out of anger you should always remain calm during times of anger so the first one here uh, grabs the <laughs> sleeve and lapel takes him back a few steps and then rounds his back and takes him off, uh, catapults him to the back. Classical Tomoenage, the launching leg was on the collar side or the lapel side because he's wearing the uh, blazer. And as you can see here, a lot of people say, you know, don't do this uh, in outside of the dojo, etc. However, you should know that this is not about just dumping yourself. Although the word sutemi, it's almost like you're just throwing yourself out. However, it is about rounding your back, squatting, and then creating the correct momentum. The next one is a failed Thai Otoshi. And because he doesn't have the sleeve or the arm, he only has the lapel of the jacket. Uh, he tried to put his leg out on the side so he can throw him over it. But since he doesn't have the sleeve, and Tai Otoshi is a hand technique, you have to cut it down with both kind of like a sword. And obviously he couldn't do it because he only had one hand uh, on his, uh, what do you call it? His co-worker or uh, his fellow parliament man. So, or, so uh, I hope you can benefit from this and learn that uh, you know the, the benefits of stoicism always be silent uh, during anger or uh, during happiness or during extreme emotional moments these is where you need to be silent at all costs because you will do or say things that you can never get back whether it is at work uh, family uh, with your partner just be careful because, you know, it, it can be very damaging. And, uh, of course, stay safe. Use these when your life or the life of your loved one depends on it. And you know, the goal is to make this society a better place. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.